Hey everybody, I'm Psychosaurus and welcome back to Age of Empires Online. And today we're gonna start another series. This time we're gonna go for War in the North booster. So, <laughs> yeah, so pretty much you get access to it after level 20, just like the Fertile Crescent booster. And yeah, you get it from Marcus Pollux and he will send you here to the Northern Hold. Good to see you, friend. Two quests here, but the correct one is Unrest in the North. The other one starts the Well of Earth quest. So, yeah. In the North, that's your quest. Return you soon. complete this. I'll have more work. We're done. Also, there is Meet the Norse, which will lead you to Portmaster, and he will give you the demo of the Norse Sith. Again, you could. Originally, you could not play as Norse unless you bought them, so the only way to try them out was through this demo. So, let's get to the War in the North booster. So, Lemon to the rescue! Yeah, 60,000 XP, that's pretty good. Nice thing about this these quests is that they, they have the recommended level any so that means if you're a higher level than 20 the rewards will scale so I'm level 33 now with the romance so the treasure will give me level 30 items very good and here we go so accept Roman to the rescue we'll begin this is very easy fast quest so we'll see how many we'll do today and it's pretty much you just help them under to deal with the Oryx. So you get the hero here. You get to fight enemy Norse units. No gear, so you can literally just come here and do this quest. They give me one XP each, which eh, is not nice to be honest. Okay, and pretty much what you have to do is go village after village to see them. Storehouse is down, unfortunate. But it's okay. Okay, uh, upgrade Ramundo, yeah, you get gold. Once you free them, you get upgrades and we'll start with the stalwart, which increases Remunda's health and health regen. So after taking damage, you heal faster. Okay, next village. Ooh, some dogs. Beware the dogs, Remunda has no calorie armor, so... So dogs can hurt you quite a bit, but there needs to be a lot of dogs, so you don't really have to worry about dogs, but if there's a lot of them, yeah, run away. Now you can destroy this gate, you will get the slingers and the healer. Okay, we can grab the hunter's belt. I'll grab the ambition. Yeah, that's an ability. So activate it. The Remunder will have increased damage and also have supplies damage. So yeah, you can read through. Put this hero abilities, upgrade, Chief Remunder. So let's go.
You don't need this one, which is nice. Okay, let them break the gate. Can move on. You find a treasure camp. Yeah, yeah. There it is. We pay the gifts. We got the hunter spell, which increases Amundas' armor from 25 to 50 for both infantry and peers. And then also he gets 50% movement speed. Which is nice. Even faster. This game, luckily it's a small one, that makes it easier, otherwise I would need the second ability. Back. See those dots. Some horsemen. Remember, Vemunder has no cavalry armor, so cavalry is very good against Vemunder. Be careful when you're dealing with the horsemen. This is the Berserker. God, you gotta keep them under alive, so... Be careful here, there are some patrolling long ships, if I remember. So we can activate the second ability, which is... Well, it's not like he's immortal, but he gets a lot of armor, and also he moves faster, so you can like run away or take um, dangerous fights with Vemunder. Can be very useful ability. Generations don't hurt, okay, remember that.
Okay, kill them. And this is the second and last treasure camp right here. And it seems there's some bandit archer, which is nice. Thanks to Vemundo, you can actually you can actually deal with these camps very easily thanks to his invulnerability. This, yeah, those are the only treasure camps here. So let's go back. No beard yet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do the rescue. Haha, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. I need some more wolf help. Okay, 60,000. Javelins, banner, what? Javel and which one's better? 25.2. Oh, yeah, that's an improvement right there. Way. Also, when you are here in Northern Hall, remember to check the stores because they have some really nice gear you can find here. What about here? This bowl. If you want to deal with buildings with ranged units. This spear is very nice. This ram head is very nice. Ooh, I should take. I should take it because this is a lot of building damage, and I think this is like I want to say like one of the best ram heads for your battering rams because <laughs> your battering rams deal with can do damage only to buildings, so <laughs> this goes very well together. So I think. For battering ram, I, I can't think of any other battering ram that will be this good this early. You can see the level right here, it's 22, I believe. So, yeah, once you do, you can come here, grab this ram head. You have like very powerful battering rams, sappers, stuff like that that deals with buildings. Really good ram head. So, I recommend this one. Uh, this is really good actually, the R of the North, very good stuff, holy stuff, yeah, yeah, this one is good, the cost is very nice thing, but if you have like maximum range healing, depending which priest we are talking about, yeah, I will not change it completely, but if you have nothing, this is good stuff, uh, yeah, this is very good tools. I should take it right now, but I don't really care. And these arrows are very nice as well. Damage, maximum range, crit chance. Very good arrows this early. And then we got also this store. These nets. Uh, they're okay, but like for gathering, you probably have better nets already. This is very good light armor. I kind of want to grab it here as well. I don't really care right now. But it's very good health, pierce armor, very good pierce armor actually. I recommend that. Health movement speed shield. Eh, I guess if you have nothing better then yes. Okay, th this is very good. Rocked beams. Probably the best thing you can put on your siege this early. Until you reach like level 40 and take the... Grab the Delian wheels. Then this is probably the best thing. You get free damage, free health, no cost increase. Probably the best thing I can think of on your siege. If even after 40, I would not take the legendary beams that give health damage and increased cost because okay. Yeah, siege typically costs a lot of resources. So this one I would still recommend using this one. This is very good. So if you're here, level 20, grab this. Very good. Heavy walls. These walls actually give more health than level 40 uncommon walls. So you might want to grab this if you want to put it on some of your important buildings, but you don't really need walls to be honest. So it's not necessary grabbing this one. And then worker's cloth. Yeah, the be best worker's cloth you can get. 
This this one gives you gathered wood, which is very nice, and you should always grab this. Do I wanna grab this? Man, I don't really need this. I wanna go without it. Yeah, definitely great items in these stores. Okay, new recruits. Uh, he's gone mad, if you think so. Blah blah blah. New recruits. Yeah, we're gonna defend Sacred Grove. Can you bring me back some so let's go. So this is pretty much some kind of prelude to the city conquest and city defense. Where you have this camp, you have hero, you have to defend, you have these treasuries as well. So let's see, what units we have? Yeah, I heard about this. Legionary, Bowman, and Ekes. And I kind of feel like this is a little bit unbalanced, to be honest. Because typically it's like, supposed to be like, one anti cavalry, one anti infantry, and one anti ranged unit. And then obviously get the defender and healer. But this this is straightforward like some weird thing. It's like having these units it just feels stupidly broken. Like you have legionary who can like tank a lot of infantry damage, and you have bowmen who can do a lot of Range damage, right? We're gonna, we're gonna make everything cheaper. No need to rush. No one can hold on it on his home for now. Let's grab the supplies. And then we start training some units. Let's just make them as cheap as possible. Seriously, why are the Cretan Bowmen here? Like, I'll be honest, it does not make sense this way. Like, for Calorie, I get it why it's Ekes and not like the Kurian or Gallic Horsemen. Like, it's never a, an H unit because they would be broken. And the Kurian is very powerful for, for Bronze Age, so I get it why. It's Ekes, but it should be rather Spearman or Legionary, to be honest. Like, Ekes is mainly against ranged units. With slight bonus against Calorie, but I would not say, hey, go Ekes against Calorie, because I think most of the other Calorie that especially specialize. <laughs> Against Calorie, yeah, they'll, they'll just destroy it, I guess, in my opinion. It, it's a little bit confusing here, to be honest. It doesn't make sense too much. Or even better, because the Bowman is so cheap, I'll, I would say it should be rather slinger than Bowman. It would also make more sense. I either it should be it should be spearman instead of legionary, so it would be like the anti calorie and I guess it would be the anti ranged. Or bowman and it should be replaced with slinger, so it would be anti ranged and I guess it would be the anti calorie. Which again that's not too much sense. But it's okay. It's okay, I guess.
It's very easy quest. I don't think there are camps here. I think I was checking this every time. There was no camp. But there's like a huge base and you can try to destroy it. I think you're allowed to do that. You just go. I don't think there's anything here, it's just like random resources, yeah. Let's come over here, hot jars. Bowman should be with them. They have pretty huge bonus. Champion Raiders, yeah this is very easy, you just have to hold them off. And I feel like Romans are really powerful here. Power, powerful here because like the legionary is just too strong with the infantry army to be honest. I I just wanna see them in the city conquest now because like it, it feels stupidly powerful. To me it always felt like there is like one unit that is less powerful than the others but it was still somehow useful and here it is like every unit is super powerful. It just doesn't make sense to me that much. Because you have like Greeks and like their size so far is not really that powerful. It's great against range but that's about it. Then you have like Egyptians, well Egyptians have slingers. Slingers are kind of going against ranged units. They are okay to use, but they are not the most powerful unit there. They have Celts, they have slingers as well, so you could ignore those. But they are also great, yeah, yeah, they are also great. If you have like a lot of crit, they can just create a lot. Then. I don't know, it just feels so weird, like these units, all of them, I, I feel like they are really good units. I like that, that helmet. at okay I did count Persians Persians are <laughs> like all of their units are okay but not too powerful to be honest I think it's mainly Bowman and Asaba that are really strong there and Spara is mainly defensive so it's kinda like do you want the defender or do you want a Spara do you want the Spara and Babylonians, Babylonians, they have spearmen, lancers and slingers, so I would say the slingers are the weaker one, and for Norse, yeah that's Kermisha, for Norse is always this 
for Norse is it's always the skirmisher. Romans are just so weird here. Like all of these units can be very useful. I guess legionary is more as a more of a tank unit here. I guess legionary without those upgrades might be a little bit weaker here, but. I still have pretty good base damage, so I'm not really sure about that. I guess since it's cavalry unit, it's gonna be great against Remunder. Against Bioris, who cares? Everything is pretty okay. In city defense, everything's okay because city defense is too easy. I guess it's the lack of upgrades here that makes Legion slightly weaker, but <laughs> that's what makes every unit weaker. So I'm not really sure how I should look at this. I just feel like Romans have like too strong combination of units. I'm fine with the Echoes because it's the only unit that makes sense, but I would rather replace one of these units, one of these two. You can Bowman, you can Bowman just will have always too much damage. It's pretty close to Toxotus in its strength. Just a little bit longer. And here comes Chief. Huge PS armor, but no melee armor, so melee units are good against Chief. Huh. 
Hmm. Oh, did I, did I don't think about it. <laughs> I guess it's pretty much like all fed in. <laughs> it's also very similar. Those two are very similar, except I guess it's cavalry. And Ulferin is infantry. Yeah, you can see there's a base. There is no cannon if I remember correctly. You can take a look for yourself. The map is not that huge. And it should not be that hard to like, siege this because you are pretty much unlimited resources. Yeah, you will find this here. I believe this is connected. I didn't actually destroy the whole base and <laughs> Yeah, it was connected and yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Just like this. Yeah, we can go back. No fear yet. Okay. New recruits. Excellent. Blah blah blah. Sixty thousand I need some more wolf health. Okay, we got a new quest here. We have Bjorn. I don't need Bjorn. Damage wounds. That sounds better to be honest. I can put it definitely. I can definitely put, it, put this one here. And this one can be the first. Okay, let's sell. Okay, Welcome. you're sending me to defend Sands. This one is race I'm on the race. Okay, you wanna do this one because of the repeatable version. So we're gonna do the race I'm on the race. Yeah, and I'll explain why the repeatable. The repeatables now. The repeatable, the repeatable version now gives legendary chest and it doesn't matter what level you are, it's always a legendary chest. Now that does not mean you're getting legendary item because legendary items are available only in level 40 chests. If there was any legendary item at level 30 I could probably get that item but nope, yeah, at 40. But you definitely have higher chance to get some epic or rare item if so. <laughs> if you're looking for some lower level epic items, this might be the one of the best ways to get it. Just play race, run the race, repeatable version. Level quality. Whatever you want. You can be level 40. Some good items are level 47. And the repeatable version is actually easier than this quest quest line version because the enemy gets gear here. To the dog, thank you. We can grab this. We don't really need the training camp, but... So. Okay, go there. And destroy the towers. The towers don't hurt. Biorix's brother. I don't know why, but it feels like that he's getting affected by the crit upgrades, or he's he has 100% crit because he's smashing them. Okay, come on, die. We're gonna grab 
heroes. Because I want to keep Ender alive. Okay, what's the head of me? Hard jars, okay. You can also use the healers to convert the enemy units on something tougher like hard jar. Can be easily converted. Like this, and we're done. There you go, very easy rewards. 60,000 XP, that's a lot of XP. Thank you. Okay, you don't get it right away, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate what I got. <laughs> Okay, finally see the defense sense. Come back in one piece. So let's get started. If I wanna make it easier, I will just pick the prosperity milestone from Egyptians and taxes milestone from Persians. To have enough gold. Pretty much have nothing to worry about here, so you can just play this place just for fun and just take everything right away. See, the Oryx is not even here, there he is. No options here, so you can just grab this if you're fast enough. Nope, not fast enough. have only some rare gear. Wait, my money! My money! Hmm. 
not enough damage. It's funny. It's fine. Come on. That was unfortunate. Well, it's fine. You die. But it's fine. You, you can see I don't have to like keep him alive. You see this? See this is sending horses. And see, this is my issue with this. Like, why do I have echoes and they have horsemen? Luckily, they don't have. Like, Super strong horsemen because these horsemen. Again, horsemen, really? Damn, lucky. That's what I mean, like this probably feels like super weak because yes I have Echoes, but Echoes is only 1.5 times multiplier against cavalry. Just so weak. I need money. Not enough money, and see, this is why I say taxes and prosperity are really good here. Because hey, you have money. One thing here is like it's gonna be definitely. Weaker against the Norse horsemen, but when you're fighting with the Greeks, then you don't really care about cavalry damage because Greeks have Sarisophory and the one has spears damage, so no need to worry about those that much. What? You serious? They were standing right there. What? Oh, come on. It's just this fast. See, when you don't have to worry about like defending everything, it's much faster. You see, I just took it. Come on, man. Get out of here. They're just not nice. Just a few more. Oh, 
Easy fast quest. Good to see you, friend. No need to worry about anything. Yeah. Keep an eye out for it. There goes my level up finally. Then you get yeah these quests. Everyone just stands alone. Front runner. It can be only one. A defender of the universe. Definitely I mean the defender of the universe. Uh, you want the front runner because of the wisdom of the empire. If you want to get somebody, sh I don't really care about it. Thank you. But it's there if you want it. Which is yeah, if you want some early coins, or maybe keep it for later. And then we get one of these. And then here's the race wonder. And see, you can get level thirty-four. Legendary chest, so that means rare or epic item for you. Uh, I could do it right now and just grab the grab the <laughs> some level 34 item, but I don't really want Thank those. You. I don't think there's anything really that useful. Do you need help, my the next one is sneak silent smash. Your sword is needed so return. yeah, I'm gonna end it right here, so I hope you enjoyed this, if you did, please press the like button, and if you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time, so bye!